Hi, I'm Erica from CEPrintedProducts.com and welcome back to Paper Clips. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about offset printing inks and drying times. Doesn't it seem to you like more and more people wait until the very last minute to ask for replacement supplies? This may be okay for items that are on the shelf, complete, and ready to ship, but it could pose a problem for custom printed items that are needed in a rush. For example, let's say your client runs out of pre-printed invoices or letterhead which they use in their laser printers and they need some in a rush. You contact the plant and they print the job using standard non-UV ink and ship it out the same day. The next day your client receives the sheets and they start putting them through their laser printers. The consumer could run into issues where the ink simply hasn't had time to fully cure and the pre-printed information might smear. In fact, ink manufacturers state that there is a general timeline of how long it takes the ink to dry. For example, ink will usually set on most papers in 4 hours, but it will take up to 12 hours to dry and can take up to 72 hours to fully cure. In the previous example where the sheets were in hands less than 24 hours after printing, the ink hasn't had time to fully cure and could smear or flake. Most ink manufacturers recommend waiting the full 72 hours before putting anything through a laser printer. Other factors that could affect drying time include the amount of water used in the printing process, the pressmen and how they prep and run the job, and, te and the temperature and humidity in the plant. There is an option to print using UV inks that require less time to fully cure. These inks are instantly dry to the touch and can be packaged immediately. However, they still require at least 24 hours to fully cure and darker inks, like a reflex blue, may require up to 48 hours to fully cure. Again, factors like strength and age of the UV light that cures the ink can affect drying time. Think of it like a new concrete driveway. You certainly wouldn't drive your car on a freshly poured slab immediately after the final smoothing, would you? I hope not, because the results could be disastrous. Well, thanks again for watching Paper Clips, and until next time, remember, paper is a renewable resource, so keep on printing.